And that makes having a plot where the characters are already married and together really interesting and fun to play out with your partner. Spare Room with Karen Terry. Hey y'all and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry and today we're going to talk about role-playing married characters. If you're anything like me, you've role-played characters falling in love and getting together a billion times, and sometimes it's fun to go ahead and start from them already being in love and already together and going on adventures from there. But how do you craft characters that are already married at the start of the roleplay? Now before we get started, I want to clarify what I mean by married characters. I don't mean arranged marriage plots where the characters have just met, and I also am not limiting myself to saying just legally married characters. For the purposes of this video, married characters are any two characters that are living together, they've known each other for a few years, and they're romantically involved. So remember earlier this month when we had our romance plot video and I advocated for ending romance plots at a good spot and then kind of starting a new plot with those characters later? Well, having characters start out as already married is a great way to play that same ship in a new plot so you get to continue loving those characters and continue loving shipping them. If you and your partner have already shipped these two characters in the past, then you know a lot about the characters, you know a lot about each other, and you can more easily predict what each other and each other's characters might do. And that makes having a plot where the characters are already married and together really interesting and fun to play out with your partner. But you can also, of course, do this with a relatively new partner where you really haven't played those characters together or you haven't played with them for that long. But for that, of course, you're going to need a little bit of planning. So I've got two tips in regard to that planning. Part one for these tips, know your own character inside and out. This becomes important later, but you will need to have this character a little bit more fleshed out than what you might be used to as necessary for diving into a roleplay. For this, I recommend watching my five things you should know about your character video, which I'm going to make sure is linked up in the card for you so that you can go watch that. And I also recommend doing some character exercises. You can find online lots of character quizzes and exercises, and also I have a whole book of them. 365 Days of Character Creation gives you a prompt every single day to help you flesh out your characters. Since we're doing a little more than normal, tools like this will help ensure that you know your character inside and out. Now, hopefully, obviously, you don't need to answer every single question in this book. There's 365 questions, that's a bit overkill. But flipping through this and finding some questions that you can answer or flipping through similar lists online will help you out. I'm going to highlight some of the questions in this book here that I think are important for married characters. February 14th, what is your character's love language? How do they express their love for others? And how do they prefer others to express love to them? April 14th. Does your character believe in true love? Why or why not? May 5th. Describe a time your character was betrayed or disappointed by a loved one. August 23rd. How easily does your character fall in love? Have they ever been in love? Have they been in love many times? There are tons more, of course, in this book, but those are ones that I find important to know when it comes to playing a married character. All right, part two of this tip. Know your partner's character. Remember, those characters are married. Your character knows a lot about your partner's character. That means you should too. Encourage your partner to do that little extra work like you're doing and encourage them to share that extra work with you. And on the flip side, share the extra work you're doing with them. Your character should be able to realistically predict what the other character is going to do in a given situation. This doesn't mean they're gonna always be right, of course, but they should have some kind of guess and that guess should be based on something. So know your character and know your partner's character, right? So once you know that, what then exactly should you plan together? For married characters, think about the milestones that they went through in their relationship and discuss those with your partner. So this is essentially part three to this, plan those milestones. What was their first kiss like? What was their first date like? How did they know they wanted to be together? What happened when they first moved in together? Did they have a wedding? What was that like? Discuss any of the milestones that matter to your character as a couple. Fleshing these out behind the scenes out of character together is going to help. And it's going to make it so that you have a much easier time making these characters feel like they're married when you're role-playing them together. Okay, at this point, now you have characters that are married and they're together and you know what that means. 
But if you've not done this type of roleplay before, you might think, well, that sounds a little boring, roleplaying two characters that already know each other super well, and I've done all of that interesting stuff now out of character plotting. So, part four. We're gonna make it not boring. Now, this would be boring if you're deriving your conflict from interpersonal relationships and conflicts that are going on between the two characters. So we have a choice to make when crafting these characters and crafting the plot of this roleplay. Where does the conflict come from? Maybe there's external pressure on the characters that they must navigate together, and this means your plot could literally be anything. Pick something that puts pressure on both of them and their relationship, and that's your plot. Maybe the characters are separated due to circumstances and your roleplay is them writing to each other. This works where maybe one of the characters was drafted into a war, or one of the characters was sent to prison, or something like that where they can't contact each other. Maybe the two characters have to move to a foreign country because one of the characters got placed in a job there and now both of them have to navigate this strange new land together. Maybe the characters are parents and they're going through a pregnancy or raising an infant together. Or maybe they're new parents that are adopting and they're navigating the adoption system together. Just because two characters know each other well doesn't mean the roleplay has to be boring. Drama can come from plenty of other areas than just the characters getting to know each other. So think outside the two characters themselves when planning the plot for this roleplay. If you do want to make it about the characters' interpersonal relationships, then the plot should be on a downward trajectory. This is a couple who was once happy, and now their marriage is failing. So then you still have the interpersonal drama between the two characters, and it's not boring. So to recap, when crafting married characters, know your character, know your partner's character, plot the past milestones, and give your RP a not boring premise. So those are all of my tips. Do you guys play married characters? Now that you've seen this video, are you inspired to try playing married characters? I'd love to hear about your experiences and your tips down in the comments below. And don't forget, make it a great day.